What's up everybody, Andrew from Fantasy here, and I thought I'd open some 2022 Topps Pro Debut. Spring training games start today, so I figured, you know, this product, it's it's a terrific deal. I mean, four autographs for that price, I think I paid like $60. Like, that is a great price for four autographs. And we'll see a lot of names that are going to be invited to spring training this season. So let's dive right in. It's also a good color, like, I, I really think, like, you know, Pro Debut is not the most collectible set, but for the price and uh, how many autographs you get, it just cannot be beat. So there's the box there, opened up. Got the packs. Fix that camera. If it wants to. So there's Pro Debut. Yeah. Sorry, camera issues. I, I I made a little bit of a new setup, and it's not 100%, but uh, working on it. Sorry for the unprofessionalness of it. You know, new to opening cards on camera. So we got um, that guy. A lot of them I won't be able to pronounce, probably. I know a good amount. Edward Howard. That was a good one. Pete Crow Armstrong, now with the Cubs. Ronnie Mauricio is a good name. Luis Angel Acuna, uh, related to Ronald Acuna. There's that. Will Bedner. I think he's related to um, David Bedner, the Rockies. Rockies, the Pirates closer. Man, they really um, they really seal these packs. We got Zach Veen, Colorado prospect there. Tyler Whitaker. Kevin Maid. There's our first autograph. It's going to be Daryl Lopez. Um, to be honest, I don't know a lot about good old Daryl Lopez. Got some blurb on him about the back. Best third baseman. Okay, so, you know. Not terrible. Seems like he's a defense first prospect with a little bit of a bat. So, Daryl Lopez is our first auto. And we get Daryl Lopez right behind. So, two Daryl Lopez's. Diego Cartea, great catcher prospect for um, the Dodgers. There. Yeah, they really seal these. We got Justin Foscue, Texas Rangers prospect there. Colson Montgomery, Hunter Goodman, Pedro Pineda, Luis Gonzalez, Roberto Rodriguez, and Roberto Hernandez. I don't know what they use to seal these packs with names. There we go. Cleo Watson, top prospect for the uh, Marlins, obviously. Paulson, his stock has fallen way off since he first debuted. Um, you know, he's, he's not as highly sought after as he used to be. Still young, though. And always turn it around. Got a George Valera brick by brick. Now this is a guy who's going to make an impact this year. Um, he, he's going to be in the uh, Guardians this year, so it's a good insert. Harry Ford's a good name. I'm curious to see. I'm like, cause I've, I, you know, I've watched a few openings, but I've never opened this product before. I'm curious to see how much color though there, there will be. Um, like I said, four autos for the price. You just can't beat that. And you can get all the top prospect names, so. Man. These packs. And I'm wondering what, like, the best way to go about opening them is. Because they are tough. There we go. Yeah, I got the Red Sox game on against the college team behind me. You know, because... Henry Davis, Pirates. You know, and baseball's back. 
I'm going to watch the Padres game when they come on at 3.30. Our next one is a Cardinal, Ryan Holgate. Now, to be honest, I'm a Cardinals fan. I, I, I don't recognize the name. Okay. Tremendous ball pop. Yeah, it doesn't look like he hit for a very high average. Um, how old is he? Oh, in 2000, so he's only what, 22, 23, so Ryan Holgate, Cardinals prospect there. Wilson Brady House. I don't take any Cardinals things, like, I love Cardinals hits, because that's what I PC, just Cardinals, so. I'll go to the PC, and we'll see if he ever makes the majors. And Matt McLean here. Adley Rushman. Now that is a guy who made a debut. Adley Rushman. Got Carlos Delgado, one of the flashbacks. Not from Nunez, a Cardinal, Freddy Velasquez. I think I've found the most efficient method to open up now. Just hard to do it in front of the camera. Now, Amador, John Rhodes, Jordan Cantus, Bubba Chandler, Benny Bombs, Benny Montgomery, Marcel Mayer, it's a good one. You'll probably see him in spring training for the Red Sox, speaking of them this year. I haven't seen a lineup. I mean, I, he might technically be in this one, but I haven't seen the lineup, so. I just kind of turned it on when it was in the first inning. Blaze Jordan, another Red Sox prospect. He was really big when he came out in Bowman. Got Khalil Watson, drafty debut. Jordan Groshans with the Twins now, I think. I'm pretty sure he got traded with the Twins. Jose Miranda, how about his debut in 2022? That's another good one. Yeah, I'm a big Jose Miranda fan underrated in the um, rookie crop that came out of 2022. Obviously overshadowed by, you know, the wits, the Julio's and all that, but he's going to be good. Ortega, Shea Langoliers, catch prospect for the Athletics. Abert Perez, King Griffey Jr., that's another flashback card. That's cool. Austin Martin, that was the guy that was traded to the Twins, right? Austin Martin. That's what I was thinking when I think Jordan Groshans. So Freelick and Nolan Gorman, who's obviously a rookie in the 2023. So that's pretty good. No color yet. Two odd, two of the four autos. Andrew Painter, he's a good prospect for the Phillies there. Joshua Baez from Cardinals. Really Jordan Lawler. Good guy. The Diamondbacks. And JC Correa. Okay. Yeah, with some of these guys, you might have to wait, like two or three years to find out if it will actually be anything, obviously. Like I said, um, Top State View is definitely not as collectible as Bowman, but, you know, it has a classic design. You know, it's, it's there's Holgate, we pull his auto. And it, and then four autographs for the price is great. There's the other Max Muncy. Elijah Tatis. James Wood, great prospect there. The Padres. Johan Rojas. Preciado is great. I think we have a um, color coming up right here. It's Jake Fox. Now, this isn't a guy I've heard of. It's numbered out of 199. Had a 405 average in very limited time. Uh, where'd he get drafted? 
I don't think it says up here. Third round pick. So, third round pick. 2021. Had a 400 average in a short amount of time. So, interesting to see what he does. Jeter Downs. Obviously already made his debut. Luis Matos is a good prospect. Already made his debut. Was not impressive. So, I think they're kind of hoping he could be the next Sandra Bogarts. But, Hasn't happened. He's got a long time now. Yeah, Josh Young. Lewis. Christian Franklin. TJ White. Santana. And Chavo. Again, one color, two autos down. We're still looking for two more autos. Got a Cardinals auto, so, I mean, obviously I can't complain about that. Chase Petty starts it off. Alexander Ramirez. Kevin Alcantara. I had a, I have an auto viz, an Elite Extra Edition that I just sold, actually, so he's pretty good. Cooper Kenny's decent. Gonzalez and Jordan Wicks. Oh, my pal's sliding over there. Boston's up one nothing already against the college. Looks like they're having some control issues. I don't know if that's an insert or number, but we got a black card you can see coming up. Denzel Clark. Okay, it is an insert. Oh, Jason Dominguez. Insert. Still really young. Yankees. That's decent. Definitely his prices have gone down um, from when they were really crazy when he first got released in Bowman that year. But I think people just, you know, the hype was too high. You know, he's going to have growing pains. He, he's a young player, so. And Maximo Acosta, if you were all about him. Okay, here's our third auto. It's Jose Torres. Cincinnati. He's selected by Cincinnati. In the 2021 draft. Looks like he had two decent seasons in 21, and, um... The Reds in Daytona. I mean, 977 OPS. So, Jose Torres is our third auto. Nick Abel's a good prospect. There's another Jason Dominguez. Garrett Mitchell, great prospect for the Brewers. A green, John Rhodes. Okay. It's going to be numbered in 99, obviously. 15 of 99. It was good in 2020. What offers and sis? Okay, so he struggled early on, but, um,. Good in college, so that's interesting. Yeah, this is good because I, I, you know, I consider myself pretty good at minor league names, and even you know some of these, I'm just looking at it. I'm like, yeah, I don't know who that is. My prospect knowledge was a little bit better, like two or three years ago. I had kept up as much as I should have, probably, and I think that's because I kind of lessened my dynasty leagues a bit in fantasy baseball. Robert Dominguez. I think we have another insert. Paguero, first round pick. Ellie Davis Cruz. Obviously, that's a great prospect right there. Getting down to it. We got one auto left. Looks like we got six packs left.
It looks like we got another insert right there. The brick by brick. Corbin Carroll, great prospect. Dimebacks, Pedro Leon. Nolby, Ian Muller, and Noeve Marte. I think he's with the Reds now. Yeah, it was in the Luis Castillo trade, so. Alright. Alejandro Pye. Looks like we've got an orange coming up. Riley Green made a great debut. Obviously, his rookie cards in 2023. There's another Valera. Oh, now that's nice. A Corbin Carroll Orange Auto. That's going to be the 25. He is a terrific prospect for the Dimebacks, and he's going to be seen pretty soon. So, I love that. That is a great fourth auto. Definitely makes the box worth it. There's Brett Beatty. Um, he's got a rookie card in 23. I am really happy about that Corbin Carroll. An orange, not just a base, it's an orange. And like I said, they're not the most collectible. Like, obviously, if you're going for prospects, the first go-to is Bowman. But these are these are nice cards, you know. They're all sticker autos, but they're a great price and a really fun rip. So let's see if we can get any, um, any good color from these last four packs. Marcel Luciano for the Giants. There's Roger Clemens, one of those uh, throwbacks. There's Jake Fox, we pulled his autograph. Grayson Rodriguez, obviously another uh, guy who's already made his debut. You know that uh, uh, multiple Orioles rotation it could be soon. Um, could be good, really soon. I mean, already has some decent means. Will be coming back from TJ, so. No, they're not that far away from being competitive. I mean, especially considering last year when they were in the playoff hunt, you know? Alexander Vargas, Bryson Lomas, Tristan Cassius. He's got his um, rookie card in 2023 tops. There's more no. Oscar Colas, um, he could start this year opening day for the White Sox. They love him. Francisco Alvarez, another great guy. Yeah, keep it, keep Oscar Colas in the back of your mind. Um, he could make a big impact in 23. Eduardo Gonzalez, Alec Thomas. Dimebacks are very rich in um, outfield prospects. Alright, Anthony Volpe. So, last pack here. Let's see if we can pull some color. Maybe in our last pack. Doesn't look like it. Vernon Davis, that's another good prospect. We got a drafty, Trey Sweeney. Curtis Mead's good. Alright, so definitely, I mean, this just makes the Bucks a win. So, I'm very happy about that. So, thank you guys for watching and have a wonderful day.